What we've got here is one of the more popular foam warbird designs. These are uh, almost ready to fly versions of uh, World War II warplanes. And these, when they come out of the box, they look a bit factory fresh. And what a lot of people like to do is have them look a, just a bit more realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some exhaust smoke and we're also going to add some smoke from the guns. So we're going to do this on the, the, the fuselage first. We've got the wings in the background. We just took it off to, uh, to have a little bit easier to handle. Um, so let's add some smoke on the sides here. And now we're going to do the fuselage guns. And we're doing it in this sort of direction because this is how the, uh, the guns would have actually been firing. So there we are. So you see we've got a uh, little bit of weathering there on this gun and the other guns factory fresh. You can easily see the difference. Now we've got the wing section, and again we've got uh, two guns on each wing. And if you look at pictures, or just imagine how the airflow would come over the wing with the gun smoke coming off the gun, um, you can see that the basically there's just going to be a black streak coming off the leading edge of the wing there. So all we're going to do is. come back like that and how much or how little of this you do to your plane is completely up to you obviously it just adds just a bit of personalization and um, you know customize the look you know make it your plane So, here we go. Got a bit of uh, extra weathering on the wings. And of course, don't forget the, the, the underside of the wing as well. Just remember to match the general width of the, uh, of the paint that you put on top. So here's the finished Warbird. As you can see, just a little bit of weathering effects can really make the details pop out on this thing.